Hey guys, Cora here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing a beauty haul and this is my first beauty haul so um, bear with me and pardon me if I don't follow <laughs> if I don't follow the exact protocol but if I'm, there's something I'm doing wrong or right just let me know in the comments below. Let's jump right into it. I got a ton of cool things, some things I needed to refill and some things are new and I have not tried yet so I'm excited to try them. Also I will be doing a giveaway so if you want to know how to enter that, that will be at the end of the video so just stick around for that. The first thing I got is something new and this is the Tarte High Performance Naturals Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer. Yes. It's a basically it's a primer and I tried it out at Sephora and I thought it was awesome but I have yet to try it on my face but it comes in a cute jar like this with a gold gold top and it doesn't have much of a smell but it's smooth and it's creamy and honestly it just feels awesome on your skin so that's why I got it but I'm excited to see how well it helps with the makeup. Then I also got a couple things from Lancome. This is the Hypnos Drama in Excessive Black. And this is this is the mascara that I use all the time, every day. I mean, sometimes I don't use it for my everyday makeup, but if I'm going out, I use it for sure because honestly, I haven't used anything that gives me more volume and more like fluff to my eyelashes and I don't know. Everyone has their own preference. I mean, it is a little pricey, but honestly, this lasts me forever. I end up buying mascara, I don't know, only maybe like two, three times a year. So for me, it's worth it, to be honest. It is worth it. And then I also got this Le Lipstick Share Crayon. It's a lip coloring stick with brush. And I don't know, I think I just like to collect nude nude lip pencils but it looks like this and the color is sheer natural and on one side is a pencil and on the other side it comes with a brush if you want to use it kind of like as a lipstick and kind of smooth it out and whatnot or i'm sure you can use this brush wherever you want you know I like to get creative. But yeah, so that's what I got from Lancome, the mascara and this um, lip liner. I've been using a concealer from Maybelline for the longest time and it's just the white one, but I decided to give this NARS one a go. I've seen a lot of people use it. The color I got is custard and I tried it on my hand. It looks cool. Everyone seems to say it's awesome, so I'm excited to try it. If you guys use NARS, let me know. I'm always down to switch things up a notch. Another thing I actually gave into, which I'm honestly a little afraid of because I find brows to be a very intimidating makeup subject and I've always used um, eyeshadow or like brow shadow to fill in my eyebrows, but I decided to give in and try out the Anastasia brow definer and this is the one that um is thicker is a thicker pencil and it's angled so it's angled and i tried it at the store and it seemed to work pretty well and the brush is thicker than the way they have on the other one the color i got was soft brown even though i'm going to be trying this out I don't know, I'll let you guys know what I think. I'm still not 100% sold, but I just like how everybody does their brows and they always turn out so perfect. So I'm like, why don't I get on the bandwagon and try? But who knows, I might just completely mess up my face. So we will see guys, we will see. Another thing I got, and you might think this is a little weird, but I got these eye creams from Kiehl's. The weird thing about it is that I got the ones that are for men and I heard that they are actually really good and work really well so I decided to give it a go. When I was at the store, um, I think the lady thought I was buying it for like a boyfriend or a dad or a family with, like a relative or something and I just kind of played along with it. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and 
And she's like, oh, he'll love it. It's so awesome and it's cool and it's minty and it just feels good on the skin. And I've actually already tried it and I do like it a lot. This, this first one is the Facial Fuel Eye Depuffer and it comes, it's like a little, looks almost like a little deodorant stick, but you like roll it out, you roll it out. It doesn't smell like anything, but when you put it on, it feels really cool. And I don't know, I've, it's a, it says a cooling formula with hibiscus extract. Things that cool usually depuff, so actually I like putting this on first thing in the morning. It's pretty awesome actually. And then the second one is the Eye Alert Energy Booster to combat puffiness and dark circles. And this one is not a roll-on, this one is a cream. It comes in a tube. Eye Alert. And this one is also nice. You just squeeze it out. It has this pointed thing. Just put a little on your finger and, you know, put it under your eye. And I'm not 100% sure how much this works but it is a thin formula and absorbs really quickly so i would probably say if you're going to use this one use it during the day and not at night but yeah it's also yeah it has cooling cucumber and alpha, alpha extracts to energize the thinner skin of the eye area it has vitamin e and caffeine but i really like how it feels i do like how it feels so i kind of give that a thumbs up as well in a way then I also got this mini Smashbox Photo Matte Eyes Eye Palette and I don't use a lot of eyeshadows but I just like that it was small and small and portable and you can take it with you in a travel bag or really anywhere but honestly it just has natural colors which I liked probably colors that I would wear like a there's a cool gray and then soft browns and then one that's like a little pinkish peaches, peachy, peachy-ish. So it comes with a little mirror and I just liked it because it was small and cute and I'm like, you know what, this is perfect. I'm not an eyeshadow queen, but sometimes you just want to use some eyeshadow and these colors are pretty awesome. I think anything mini is really cute. Oh yeah, and when I went to Kiehl's for that men's ice cream for my Dad. She gave me a bunch of samples of the women's stuff, so I haven't tried these yet, but I got a facial oil free gel cream, a sunscreen, an ultra facial cream. I think in general Kiehl's makes some great products, so I'll probably give these a whirl and if one of them rocks, maybe I'll get that too. Then I was out of black liner, and this one also I have already used before, so I just got another one. And this is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. Looks like this, it has a super cute design and it's a super fine brush. And I like that it's not very soft. It's like on the harder end, so it makes it easier to draw finer and more distinct lines. Eyeliner is my go-to eye makeup, so I run out of eyeliner really quickly. <laughs> Like super quickly. I also got a couple things from the drugstore and these are all NYX products, I think. Uh, actually, no, they're not. I got a bunch of like lip gloss. I got two lip plumpers from NYX. One is in Pamela and one is in Liv. So they're, they're both pretty clear, but I'm excited to see their plumping capability more than anything. And then I also got a NYX liquid suede cream lipstick. I really like bright lipstick sometimes and this is orange and I don't know, I kind of just really wanted something different apart from like the red and the pink. I think orange is a cool color for fall or for spring or really you can wear it whenever. Whenever you want to wear orange, you can wear orange. And also I got this Maybelline Shine Shot, Maybelline Shine Shot Prismatic Lip Top Coat. And this I think is awesome. I actually have it on right now over my um, like nude lip gloss or whatever. It's really cool. It gives your lips like this really like 3D-esque look. I don't know if you can tell on camera. Because the sparkles are like those like fluorescent colors or they look a little like blue and purple and pinkish in there. I think it makes it look really cool. It gives it a really cool sheen shine. And it's not sticky at all, it doesn't smell like anything, so I honestly like this thing a lot. This is something I tried out at Sephora and I thought was really cool, and it's the Herbivore Rose Hibiscus Coconut Water Hydrating Facial Mist. 
and I lately have been obsessed with facial mists. This is the box, I don't know, it looks a little bright, especially since it's white. And I tried it and it just felt so good. This is what it looks like, pretty simple packaging, which is cool, but basically you just spritz it on your face and it absorbs and, you know, coconut water, coconut oil, anything coconut is good for everything. It cures everything, okay, I'm convinced. So it just feels really good. So whenever you need a refreshing, you just spritz it on your face. Um, I think I'm probably gonna be spraying it on in the morning before putting on like a moisturizer or anything or my makeup, because I feel that way it'll absorb better into the skin. Then while I was at Sephora, I have like a million bazillion points. So I got one of these samples and this is the Martian Mattifying Melting Water Gel Toner. And honestly, I have yet to try this, but it looks and sounds really cool because it's for oily to acne prone skin, which is me, that is I. And it absorbs oil, clarifies, minimizes appearance of pores. So instantly transforms from a cooling gel to a water toner as it clarifies, removes oil, and visibly tightens pores for a clear matte skin. I'm actually really excited to try this. I think the bottle is super cute. God, I love green. I love green. But yeah, I'm excited to try this. I just got this as a sample. But you know, maybe it'll rock my world. You know, it's Martians. Maybe it'll be out of this world like a true Martian. <laughs> The last thing I got was actually a lot of things, and that is a lot of eyelashes. Yeah! Eyelashes. I just made a mess and I scared my dog. I literally got so many different kinds. I got like these more wispier kind, and these more like singular divided ones, and these I like to wear at night because they're like divided but wispy and big and long. And then these, these are really cool for like daytime, nighttime, whatever time. So I got a ton of lashes and they're all 100% human hair. And guess what guys, I'm gonna be giving away lashes. I'm gonna be picking two winners for this giveaway and each winner is gonna win 20 pairs of eyelashes each. All you have to do to enter is subscribe to my channel, give this video a big thumbs up. All you have to do to enter is subscribe to my YouTube channel, subscribe to my Instagram, and then give this video a big thumbs up and leave a comment below this video letting me know what type of lash you like. Do you like a wispier kind? Do you like, like a long, fuller kind? Do you like a separated kind? Yeah, you get to pick. Let me know what lash you prefer and you will be winning 20 pairs of lashes 20 creepy crawlers for your eyes that's all you have to do easy so subscribe to my youtube subscribe to my instagram like this video and let me know in the comments below which eyelash you like oh and probably leave your email address as well this will be completely random but i'm excited i will be picking two winners and so yeah Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know if you want to see more beauty videos or what type of beauty videos you want to see and I'll gladly shoot them for you. Make sure to enter the giveaway and I will see you guys in my next video. Lots of love. See you next time. Mwah.